Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool repeating clone effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So here are a couple of just uh, different examples of this effect. Obviously, you wouldn't put these two like actually together if it was a real video. But I just want to kind of show you a couple different varieties um, of this effect. And then you, of course, can you know, take the same ideas and make them into your um, own effect. Like all, like most of my videos, my videos like to cover like, you know, the, the, the concepts and the basics idea, basic idea of how to create the effects. And then you and everybody else can you know take use your own creativity. But I want to just show you a couple different ideas. So it's a pretty cool effect instead of just having like kind of like appear individually on screen that kind of like all are keyframed are all and are all animated at the same time which is a pretty cool effect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the second clip right here I'm gonna click option F to create a freeze frame and I'm gonna go control D 20 I'm gonna set it for 20 frames that I think looks the best right there now I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this um, freeze frame um, right there so if I go ahead and play it um, right here you'll see it'll just basically freeze on screen right there so we freeze right there and there we go you're into um, the next clip right there now the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the clip right here head over to the effects panel right here go to mask and we're just going to apply a draw mask right in, right in the clip obviously I'm thinking if I think if you've done any kind of freeze frame you probably knew um, this was coming so let's go ahead and just do you know a semi decent um, selection but obviously like I say in all the videos um, you obviously don't want to spend like 20 30 minutes on this make it look a lot nicer go ahead you know refine the edges change the curvature change the feathering and all that stuff but for the sake of the tutorial I don't think you want to watch 25 minutes of me just masking out um, a subject so let's go ahead and play it right here see what it looks like right there there we go looks a little bit better um, than just having the entire um, background right there now what we're gonna do is gonna go to the beginning right here and I'm just going to go ahead and go 10 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and I'm going to place a marker you can of course um, command B blade it to make sure that each of these clips last for 10 frames and the reason you have 10 frames is gonna keyframe one way and then you go back to zero so it's gonna kind of create a really cool um, bounce effect now I'm gonna go ahead and just go over here go ahead and hold down option and create a copy right there. Now the dudes will go to the beginning of the clip right here. I'm gonna go ahead and place a keyframe on position right here. Go to the middle right here, and we can just change it to let's say 150 right there, or let's go um, negative 150. That looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and head over to the end right here. And we'll place another keyframe and make sure this one so there's a keyframe right there. So if I go ahead and play kind of frame by frame, you can see kind of, make sure there's a keyframe right there, you can see he kind of basically comes out right here, bounces and then comes back in um, right there. So I'll go ahead and place a keyframe on the end um, right there. So you want to make sure there's a keyframe on the position right there. So let's go ahead and play and make sure you know everything you know was done right. So let's go ahead and actually let's just delete that restart. I think I may have messed that up. So go ahead and just hold down option right here. Let's go ahead and redo it. So what I'm going to do is go over here, place a keyframe on position of the start right here. I'm going to go right here and head over to the x axis and type in negative 150 right here. And I'll uh, just go ahead and type in negative 150 right there. And then there's a keyframe right here. Now I'm going to go to the end of the clip right here. And I'm going to go ahead and place another keyframe. Now you can go ahead over here and go to show video animations. As you can see, there are three keyframes. It's just always good to make sure that you know, something actually is keyframed. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see right here, it animates out right there. Now, in order for it to bounce back, what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the clip right here, and you want to change the x-axis to zero right there. So basically what's happening is it's starting at zero right here, and then what you're doing is it's going out to negative 150. Then what it's doing is it's bouncing back, uh, bouncing back into place and going to zero right there. So that's pretty much how you create the effect. As you can see, there we go. Now you have created um, the effect right there. 
So let's head over here and let's go ahead and hold down option, just create another copy. And all you want to do is go to the middle where the marker is. And now we're going to change this to negative 300 right there. So let's go ahead and play it right here. Make sure it works right there. So you can see, there you go. You see, he comes out of himself and then goes back in. And then let's go ahead and just create another copy. You can, of course, um, change the value of the x axis. I just think going by um, negative 150 or going by 150 um, looks the best, but it's all a personal preference. And you can, of course, adjust it to your liking right there. So let's go ahead and play it right here. Wait for it to render um, a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there you go. He comes out of himself right there and then comes back in. So basically at the end of the day, this holds for 20 frames and the keyframe is right in the middle. So you can see right here, go to the beginning keyframe at zero. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this x-axis is keyframe to negative 450. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it keyframes back to zero. So it creates a really cool kind of bouncing frame effect right there and that's what it looks like right there. It's a really cool effect. It's very different than some of the, like the other freeze frames I've gone over. Instead of just kind of like appearing on screen, it kind of animates on. So it's a really cool and um, unique effect right there. Also I'll go over here, I'll go ahead and just show you one example of the, how to do the other way. Make sure this clip is on top. We're going to go right here, place a keyframe on position, go to the middle right here, and we'll just type in 500 right here now we're gonna make sure we're gonna go to the end of the clip right here place a keyframe and change the x-axis to uh, zero right there so you can see it's basically keyframing out right here and then keyframing back in so I'll go out here show you the keyframe starts at zero keyframes out to 500 and then it bounces back into zero right there and now you're on to the second clip right there so you can see right there and then of course you can adjust it you could have you know do the exact thing do the, do the exact same thing but the opposite way type in negative 500 and there you go that's pretty much how you create the effect now of course right here I have some moderate motion blur just to help sell the effect and then there you go that's how you create um, this really cool, what I like to call the repeating frame effect or the repeating clone effect. Pretty cool effect, as you can see right there. Open it up. There's what this, this is what it looks like inside the compound clip right here. Open this up, and this is what it looks like inside the compound clip right there. That's pretty much it. That's how you create this really cool repeating clone effect. You can of course adjust you know, any of the settings to make it uh, look 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 like your own. But those are just kind of how I did it. It's a little bit different, very unique, and I'm sure you've probably seen this effect a lot. And there you go. That's how you create this really cool effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.